To create a Milvis instance, we're going to use IBM Watson X at ibm.com slash Watson X. First, let's sign up for an account. After you create your IBM Watson X account, you'll need to add an instance of Watson X data. To do this on the navigation menu, expand administration, expand services, click services catalog. Scroll down to and select Watson X data. After you add an instance of Watson X data, you should go right to it. If for some reason you don't, here's how to get there from your Watson X dashboard. In the navigation menu, expand administration, expand services, and click service instances. Click Watson X data, then click open web console. After you add IBM Watson X data, open your infrastructure manager. First thing you'll need to do is make sure you have a storage bucket for the Milvis instance. To do this, click Add Component, then click, for example, IBM Cloud Object Storage. After you create your bucket, you can create your Milvis instance. To do this, click Add Component, click Milvis, give your service a name, add the bucket, type a path, and then click Create. It'll take several minutes for the Milvis instance to be ready. All right, you can finally get your connection information. To do this, after the Milvis service is created, click it, then click View Connect Details. You'll need two pieces of information. First is the gRPC host and the gRPC port. You can quickly get these by clicking the Copy to Clipboard button next to each of these values. You'll also need an API key to authenticate with the Milvis instance. To do this in your IBM Cloud dashboard, click Manage, then click Access, IM. On the left sidebar, click API Keys. Click Create. For session creation, click Yes, then click Create. Copy this value you won't be able to see it again, so you can't retrieve it later. If you lose this or need another one, simply create another key. Okay, a few other things you're going to need, and that is the name of the collection in Milvis, as well as the name of the database in Milvis. So to do this for IBM Watson X data, in Milvis you need to use code to create these. And so I have Visual Studio Code open, and I have a Python project, and you can use, for example, the PyMilvis package in Python. You can see it here. It's a good idea to install the version of PyMilvis that matches the version of your Milvis instance. And you can get that on the same page where you got your gRPC host and gRPC port information. All right, so after we import a number of classes in PyMilvis, then we can go ahead and create the collection. There's a few pieces of information you'll need to provide the connect method, and that is the alias, which we can just call default, the host, the port, the user, and the password. So remember that you got the gRPC host and the gRPC port from the earlier exercise back in IBM Watson X data. You also got the API key, which here is the password. For user, do not use your IBM Watson X username. Instead, the username for Milvis in IBM Watson X is always IBM LH API key by convention. All right, after you connect, then you can go ahead and start creating the collection. So the first thing you'll need in the collection is a primary key, and we're going to use the unstructured standard field name of element ID. It's going to be our primary key. Then we're going to set a field for the vector embeddings 
and again using the unstructured standard field name of embeddings. Make sure that the number of dimensions here matches the one that you specify when you're setting up your uh, document processing pipeline. Then we'll go ahead and create a schema which consists of, of course, these two uh, fields, the primary key and the vector field. Then to create the collection, you need to give it a name, provide a schema, and the database that you'll use. By default, Milvis creates a default database named default. So the name of your database will be default and the name of the collection will be whatever you specify. Finally, if you want to query the collection later, you'll need to provide index parameters. So the, the index parameters here map to the vector field here. For more information, see the PyMilvis documentation and or the Milvis documentation for your specific implementation. Okay, with all of that information together, you'll finally go ahead and create the index, of course the field name that the index will be applied to, and the parameters. After you run this code, you'll be all set to go ahead and start ingesting data into Milvis.